Hello? Hello. Let's start at the beginning. Hypixel Skyblock is a game filled with dragons, magic, and most importantly, a stock market. This is the bazaar, where players sell their items at prices determined by other players. Buying viable belongings being bought by soliciting self-solicitation so stock share and all acquiring allows a sending amount owed. In short, it's a stock market, so it can be exploited. Now after Mets, I hear you ask, do you even have a plan to break the Skyblock economy? And that was a dumb question. Of course I have a plan. I just need to go to the obvious place, the US Securities Domestic Stock Trading Act of 1933. The provisions of Section 5 shall not apply to transactions by a dealer, including an underwriter no longer acting as an underwriter in respect of the security involved in such a transaction? That is really interesting. Anyway, back to Minecraft. These guidelines will prove an invaluable resource for overthrowing the bazaar, because they explicitly list every single stock trading method which was so overpowered it had to be banned. But Hypixel doesn't ban them, so we can start manipulating. Most of the methods aren't very promising, but three in particular rise up. The well-known pump and dump, where you buy an item, raise its price, and then sell all of your shares when the price is raised. The less well-known technique known as the, uh poop and scoop, where you lower prices and then buy shares at a lowered price. Or, cornering the market, where you buy all of an item and then sell it back at highly inflated prices. So which of the techniques are we going to use? Well, bad news. Most of these techniques, much like the average Skyblock player, are not very good. Wait, but I... You... The first two options depend on being able to manipulate prices, but I don't have that power, so they're both off the table. Secondly, all the items in Skyblock have an infinite supply throughout the world, so there's no way I could get all of them. Or is there? Also, could whoever just turned off the lights turn them back on? Thank you. So it turns out the supplies of the bazaar are not in fact infinite. You might think the supplies are pretty infinite if you look at an item like oak logs, where you can see that there are literally millions of items being sold. But if we look at a different item, for example the rare diamond, which is a mostly useless item often gotten by early game players, we can see there are only 79 buy orders. So if we buy all 79 of the rare diamonds by forcefully foreclosing frequent financial fighting for fine franchises, or for short, we can set the buy prices to be whatever we want and make infinite profit. So let me just buy instantly. And then if I just sell instantly, for 0.1 coins each, and now no one is buying rare diamonds. Okay, so now I just need to create a buy order. So now I can replace someone else as the lowest buyer. Now I know what you're thinking. This is not making a lot of profits. And that's because this is a test run, to make sure that the idea works. My next goal is going to be to target the enchanted paper market which is only 150,000 buy orders. However, the increased price of enchanted paper means that to buy up this stock, I would need over 6 million coins. This was a much riskier investment, but it could end up making me millions of coins. But first, let's return to the rare diamonds. I managed to get over 100 lapis crystals at a price of just over 10 coins. Over the course of the next day, rare diamond prices skyrocketed all the way up to 34 coins apiece, so I sold off my entire supply, making about a 3,000 coin profit. This was a big win. Now, it was time to go all in on enchanted paper. As you can see, I have my entire life savings on me, and I'm going to try to use them to buy out enchanted paper. And if I can buy out all of these orders, I can set the price at something like 200 coins and make massive profit. So, I'm going to need to create a buy order for 15,000 enchanted paper. There goes all of my money. My original audio corrupted here, but I got all my paper buy orders in quickly enough and sold them instantly. Eventually, the prices were lowered down to just 30 coins per enchanted paper. I created a buy order for 70,000 paper, which could theoretically be sold for an 800% markup. However, even though I had caused the price drop, there was still substantial risk of someone else stealing my buy-in, so I settled in to start watching the sugarcane prices, prepared for the aftermath. It was now time for the aftermath. Did you know it was time for the aftermath? That's because it's time for the aftermath. I spent about an hour watching the paper, 
possibly the most intense thing I've ever done. There were a lot of orders hiking up the price at the start, but it eventually settled at, I kid you not, 69 coins per an order of 69.99 thousand. So that was pretty nice. There wasn't much immediate demand, so prices sat there for a while, and after 20 minutes they had only dipped down to 69.983 items sold. After this waiting, I took a brief break to touch grass. But when I returned, there was suddenly a massive amount of demand for paper. I managed to retain control of the buy order as the prices rose, but the prices jumped all the way up to over 100 coins practically before I could stop them. This was still 400% profit, so I kept putting in buy orders and retaining control. But then, Hypixel went down. Seriously. Three hours later when I returned to the server, the prices had already gone back up to 340 coins. So I cancelled all my orders, waited for my papers to sell, and counted my profits. Obviously the server crash meant I wasn't going to get the optimal possible profits, but at the same time I had maintained a complete monopoly over the prices for over one full hour. Surely after all of that my profits would be fairly significant. So I started out with around 5 million coins, and at the end I ended up with 8.5 million. So yeah, I'd say this is a pretty effective money-making method, seeing as my method requires not that much starting material. It's pretty good. But I think in all this talk of money-making, one key thing is being left out, and that was the actual goal of the whole run, which was to decimate the Skyblock economy. And we certainly did that. Look at the prices for sugarcane over the past days. That was us. Look what we have done. And all that damage was done faster than you can say subscribe, like, and comment to support a smaller creator such as myself, and that is all.